the Oncolurity Cancer Weekly Roundup out on the New England Empire 110 sees that in first line treatment of PDL1 selected patients with non small cell lung cancer, atezolizumab had a longer OS than platinum based chemo, regardless of physiologic type. Out on annals, mechanism of resistance to selective red TKIs in red fusion positive non small cell lung cancer. The US FDA approves the combination of Volumab plus Ipilimumab as first line treatment for adult patients with unresectable malignant pleuroma cephalioma based on Checkmate 743. Out on the New England, study sees that among Swedish girls and women 10 to 30 years old, quadrivalent HPV vaccination was associated with substantially reduced risk of invasive cervical cancer at the population level. Out on Cancer Cell Review highlighting the data at the intersection of COVID-19 and cancer with practical recommendations for the treatment of patients with cancer during the pandemic. ACR Patient Advocate Forum on COVID-19 and Cancer reminding us that eye protection reduces the risk of infection by 78%. Lancet Oncology, K2 study sees the addition of a tesalizumab to trastuzumab amphenzine did not show a clinically meaningful improvement in PFS and was associated with more adverse events in previously treated HER2-positive advanced breast cancer. The Dr. Sherry effect US FDA supplemental new drug application has been filed for the combination treatment of nivolumab and cabozantinib as treatment for advanced renal cell carcinoma based on Checkmate 9ER. On Lancet Oncology, RAVE's data supports the use of salvage radiotherapy resulting in similar biochemical control to adjuvant radiotherapy, spares around half men from pelvic radiation with lower GU toxicity. On Journal of Precision Oncology, results support DKK1 as contributor to immunosuppressive tumor microenvironment of double negative prostate cancer, providing rationale for clinical trial targeting DKK1 in metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer. High levels of tumor heterogeneity and genomic complexity that differ from patient to patient suggest that individualized end of one therapy combinations are a necessary next step for treatment optimization. On JCO, no improvement in response and no evidence of abscopal effect with the addition of SBRT to nivolumab in unselected patients with metastatic head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. Only three weeks until a kidney cancer research summit, a special keynote address from Nobel laureate Dr. William Kalin. The answer.